Now we are going to the next top the ne the second topic for 3.3 .3, that is dependent samples. For this part, the parameter use denoted by mu d. Okay, and as usual, okay, there are three types of test, two tail test, right tail test, and left tail test. And again, mu naught in this case is known as hypothesized mean. Okay, we can take any real value. For the dependent samples, usually we will deal with, uh, with uh, population variance unknown and sample size small. So that's why okay, the test statistic that we always consider that is the test as given on your slide. Okay. For the, for the, so for the t test, we can compare with the t critical value with a decrease of freedom n minus 1. To understand better for the concept of dependent sample, so now we look at example 3.5. Okay, so uh, when we look at the... Um, Question given, okay, is it wise for the factory management to install the new gadget? So, this is very general statement. So, um, to consider which uh, parameter that we need to use, so we can look at the data given. Okay, the data given here that is about the number of bacteria floating. So, the most suitable parameter that we need to consider that is mu. So, now for this case, parameter that we need to consider is mean, mu. So, we have two data set, data set B, data set B for before, data set A for after. Then means that for this case, this is under difference between two means. For the decrease of difference between two means, we need to be careful, okay? Because uh, this is uh, either this is under independent sample or dependent sample, okay? Dependent is mu t. We can identify uh, the theta, the suitable theta here uh, by looking at the data given. We can see that. Be, the data set of before and after is dependent to each other or there is a relationship between data before and after here because the subject uh, subject here is the factory is the same so for this case this is under mu d so we write here mu d here so for d okay okay for D here, this is um, equals to a difference between data before and data after. So, there are two versions for D. Okay, the first version, if we you want to choose B uh, uh, minus A, Okay, B minus A or A minus B. Remember that we want to look for the D that wise. Okay, wise to install. So, wise to install when we want to compare data B and data A. So, look at the uh, variable. Variable here, uh, the data here is about the number of bacteria floating. So, is it, it is wise to install the gadget instead to show that the gadget is efficient okay so for this case d here can be the b greater than a means that or we also can write a for the case of a less than b actually b greater than a this is the same as a less than b so, 
from here we can get b minus a greater than 0 and for this version we can get a minus b less than 0 so there are two versions of d that you can choose okay both versions are accepted okay either b, b minus a greater than 0 or a minus b less than 0 so when we want to construct the statement for mu d you can choose either one for the first version for example you want to choose uh, for b minus a so this is mu d greater than zero where d here is equals to b minus a okay the second version okay this is the claim eh? claim that is wise to install the gadget the second version that is mu t okay less than zero where t here this is also the claim that it is wise to install the gadget so d here for this case d here is equals to a minus b so you have to claim but the claim here is the same both claims um, show us that it is wise to install the gadget so now um, <clears throat> let's say we want to choose the first version okay when we want to choose the first, uh, first version don't worry actually both versions of claim will go to the same result and same conclusion so let's say we want to choose the first version okay so this version okay so now uh, when we want to choose uh, this version okay this is greater than means that the claim here is under okay the claim here step one the claim here is under hash uh, hash one okay because um, unequal sign here so this is will be hash one okay and this is um since this is hash one so we can construct that's why for step two here okay we get the that the difference data between data before and after as shown here okay as shown here so from this difference data we by using calculator we can get x bar d and sd okay after that apply the formula for the t test because the this case is mu d eh? so for our course we only consider for for the case of population variance unknown and sample size small okay then simplify the answer at four decimal places so complete step two go to step three for the step three we want to identify the rejection region and critical value so the test use is t test so we need to we need to plot a t distribution as shown here okay the t distribution <clears throat> so the next step is to identify the rejection region we can look at the inequality use in h1 that is greater than greater than meaning that the rejection region lies on the right tail of the distribution right tail so uh, since this is uh, lies on the right tail the rejection region lies on the right tail of the t distribution means that this is under right tail test okay so no need to divide our alpha by two after that get the critical value here okay this is t 0 0.05 with a decrease of freedom six okay so by using a statistical table we can get the value so once we can get 
rejection region and critical value so complete step 3 so now go to step 4 step 4 that is about um, decision on hash now so as usual we compare the statistic in step uh, in step 2 to the critical value in step 3 okay when we compare these two value okay these two values then we can see that t test greater than meaning this is lies on this region so since this is lies on the rejection region so that's why the decision here is we reject hash now okay we reject hash now so complete step four go to step five step five we reject hash now okay meaning that we accept hash one so hash one to relate with the claim step five we want to uh, draw a conclusion that relate with the claim we can see that we uh, we support the claim so support the claim means that at five percent level of significance it's wise to install the new gadget 